Hey guys, it's Kathleen. Welcome back to my channel. How are you doing today? I'm whispering because it's the early morning. So today I'm going to be testing out two new products that I saw in the drugstore. I was really interested in them because one, I always look for new mascaras and two, I always look for new lipsticks. And I found some. Boom. So the first thing I'm going to be trying out today is the Maybelline Snap Mascara. I have it in pitch black. It's claims it's an easy on easy off mascara it's first pigmented mascara with zero waxes i like that virtually pigmented formula for smooth clump free volume and pure color intensity lasts all day easy glide brush for effortless application removes easily um usually when i'm removing mascara it kind of most of it gets off and then the next morning i wake up and there's like little black bits under my eyes so Let's see how this goes. So this is what it looks like out of the box. It's a square thing. It's got cute little eyes on it. Really like it. So let's take it out of the tube. It's got this kind of brush. It's kind of got a little dip it on one side. It looks really good. So we'll see how it goes, I guess. So I'm just gonna load my lashes up and see how it goes. So for sure, it's very lengthening. I'm just looking in the mirror, my eyelashes look really long. I don't know if you can tell. But it doesn't add much volume. When you layer it up, it gets a little bit better, but it doesn't add that much volume to them. Some more. I'm trying to make this. Side. It's pretty well coated. It definitely defines your lashes. It doesn't add much volume to them. And when you load them up a little bit too much, they get a little clumpy. So, clump free. Maybe not. Let's see how they look on the lowers. I really like it for the lower lashes. Makes the lower lashes nice and defined and not all clumped together. So that's nice. So here are my lashes completely done. I didn't curl them because I don't like to curl my lashes when I first try out a mascara. But here's what they look like. I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, maybe if I curled my lashes, it would be a little bit better, but doesn't add much volume to them. It just makes them longer. And when I like, when I put on mascara, I want it to be volumizing. So we'll see how it wears during the day. Okay, the lipstick is the L'Oreal Paris Rouge, Rouge, L'Oreal Paris Rouge Signature Lasting Matte Liquid Lipstick. That's a mouthful. Um, I only got this one color because they're $14.99 at CVS. And I was like, one's good. But they do have one, two, three, four. They have 12 colors. I'm looking at the website right now. And it says it's a liquid matte color ink that delivers a stain like feel with the color impact of a liquid lipstick, imparts lips with high pigment matte finish and lasting wear. So, we shall see. I'm first going to line my lips. Because I always get bleeding when I wear lipstick. So I'm just going to take this um, Maybelline Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liner in clear. Just so I have something that doesn't have any color in it. Okay, so I'm going to take it out of the tube. This is what the applicator looks like. It's flat and it's got a little pointy tip on it. Hello. So, let's see how it applies. Excuse me, this is really intense concentration for me. So, ooh, this smells kind of weird. Okay, so I have. 
have to dip back in. Got most most mouths done. It's a little patchy. A little bit, probably because I had to put that second layer on. Let it dry a little bit and see if we can't fix it. Oof. Definitely went over my lips down here. So I didn't have to do a full second layer, I just kind of touched up a little bit on the lips. They feel pretty good, they don't feel super drying, but it's still drying down a little bit, so we'll see how that goes. I'm really bad at doing that lipstick, aren't I? It's like real uneven. Story of my life. Okay, so I'm gonna wear the mascara and the lipstick all day. I'm not gonna touch the lipstick up. And we'll see how it goes. I'll see you guys in a little while. My lips are so dry. Oh my god. I feel so crusty. Okay, so it is 3.40. I've been wearing this makeup since like 7 a.m. So let's take a look at the mascara. I'll just, I'll move my body in closer. It held up pretty well. I mean, I get a lot of smudging under my eyes with mascara usually. It gets like really bad and you know, I look like I have raccoon eyes. But this didn't get like that. It crumbled just the tiniest of bits, but I was also rubbing my eyes because I get things in my eyes constantly at work. So, but overall, I think I like it. I might like it like just to color my lashes before I put on like fake eyelashes. But I like it. It's pretty good. And for the lipstick, I ate pizza, I ate a donut, I drank a lot of water, and it held up pretty dang good. I'll just let you... I mean, it's really dry. I didn't put any chapstick on any. I was like, I'm not gonna mess this up by doing something that could potentially make this not work. So I didn't. It's not transfer resistant, because on my pizza when I was eating it, I got seeing lipstick on it and on my water bottle, the little nozzle that I drink out of um, had a bunch of lipstick on it, but you wouldn't be able to tell just by looking at my lips. Like it wore very, very evenly. So I like this lipstick. It's a little expensive, but if it's this quality, then I'm totally fine with it. Like it's good. But the last claim of the mascara, oh, I wipe my nose, is that it's easy on. I agree with that. And easy off. So you take it off super easily. So I have some wipes here I just got from um, the store. They're just wipes. They're my cellar wipes. So I'm going to take my wipe. And this is usually how I take my makeup off. And I don't get everything off with this. I usually have to wash my face with water and then the rest of the mascara comes off. So we're going to see just how easy off it is. So I have my wipe and I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna rub really hard. I'm just gonna be very gentle and see how it goes. I'll just press it on, get it wet and then I'll rub it. I did take some of it off. I just do. Didn't coat this as much. Lower lashes are clean. Upper lashes, probably because I put so much on. It's taking a little extra. That works pretty well. All right. Probably should have done my intern after before taking my mascara off. So that's it. That's everything for the video. Um, these two products are really good. So I would highly suggest you go out and try them. Lipstick's a little expensive, but for the quality you get, totally worth it. Especially for the drugstore, you can just go and pick it up. Great. And the mascara, while it's not super volumizing, I think it's a good mascara to do before you put on fake lashes, so that way your lashes blend into them more easily. I'm gonna go take all my makeup off, because it's falling off my face. So if you like this video, give it a big old thumbs up, subscribe to see more content from me. I post every Monday, and just like today. Thursdays sometimes, so you might want to ring that notification bell, you know, just 
ring it so you know when I'm uploading because those surprise Thursday videos can get you sometimes. And I don't always give you hints like I did on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram, by the way. Link was at the beginning of the video. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.